Hey group leaders, once again, it's great to join you here for our February group leader newsletter. Thanks for joining us once again and hearing about this month's tip. And I just wanted to give you an update on our missional mentoring class, which got to happen this past January. Thank you to the 20 people who signed up for that class and stuck with us for 7.45 in the morning. It was actually a really great class to learn about what it means to be disciple makers in a one-on-one -on -one context. So that class is going to be coming back soon here in the future we don't have an official date set at this point but if you're interested in that class coming up let me know and also let me know what time works best for you this is something that I've come up with from scratch to essentially it scratch that itch of one-on-one -on -one discipleship here at Christ Wesleyan and I want to see how I can best reach you all during that time it's a four-week intensive class that's about an hour a week and that, that's really what the class is about, to help you learn what it means to mentor somebody in a one-on-one -on -one context. So I highly recommend that. And for those of you who just got through the class, I'd love to receive the information on how you enjoyed it, what we can do better for the next cohort, and how we can ultimately continue to make better disciples through mentoring. But today I wanted to talk to you about some of the ways that we advertise groups here at the church. So I actually just had a meeting with our communications director, Mary Tyler, about what we can do to get the word out about groups, especially for our new leaders or leaders who are looking to help people get connected to their group, even if it's been established for a while. One of the ways that we're gonna be doing that is by highlighting three things going forward. Group leaders themselves, like group actually helping the congregation get to know group leaders, who they are, where they lead, and what groups they're a part of. So if you're a group leader who wants to actually connect to those congregants in a meaningful way and advertise your group on a larger scale, then let me know. We'll, I'll be glad to help you get those group leader testimonials written up. The second one is just group testimonies. So for the group testimonies, this could be yourself or it can be a member of your group. We want to essentially showcase on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on our church page, what's so important about being a part of a group. And we wanna hear from you, from your side of things. They can hear it from a pastor, but they hear it differently from somebody who's actually involved in a group and experiencing that life change. So I highly would encourage you, if you're interested in reaching out to us about that group testimonial video, I'd love to connect with some of you if you wanna to speak to that as well. We're looking for like a one minute video, really. Nothing that's huge, but it allows people to take that first step in realizing why is it important that I'm part of a small group? And that's what we really want to communicate here at Christ Wesleyan. And the third one is actually going to be talking about the group types. So are you a Bible study? Are you a fellowship group? Are you a community group? What is the reason why your group exists? And we are going to highlight some of those group types through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and our church channel. So those big three are gonna be what we're focusing on. And for those new group leaders, we're gonna partner those specific testimonials alongside of our group leader tables, which happen throughout the month of May, the month of August, and the month of December. So that way congregants who are in the foyer can actually come and meet you in person. And hopefully these Facebook posts and the other posts that are around will help to spark people's interest in order to connect with you that Sunday and to look forward to connecting with you as well. So all of that is going to work together. And especially for you new group leaders, I know one of the frustrations has been, how do I get the word out about my group? So I wanted to give you an update. This is some of the ways that we're going to be reaching out in those specific avenues. And we're really going to focus more on that semester launch base model because we think that it really helps to hone down group leaders and then those who are interested in groups to go seek each other at a very specific time. And then as we continue to do that, people will come to expect to look for them at that time too. So make sure to keep an eye out for that here coming in the future so that's a couple of the things that are going on another thing that can help with your group advertising is we have invite cards that are actually made up specifically for you to use as group leaders and you can hand them out to anybody so if you want to take a look at it here 
It actually highlights some of the specific things like your name and contact info, the location of where you're meeting, the day of the week and the time. And then you can write on the back what you're meeting for. And the great thing is with an invite card, uh, people can stick it on their fridge and then they can be reminded every single time that they look at it of, hey, I, I remember that that group's going on. Maybe I should go to that. Something as simple as an invite card can be really great for that. Also, we do happen to have plenty of yard signs that are available for your group leaders too. So if you're in one of our community groups and your house might be a little bit harder to find, uh, it's great for hospitality purposes to have a CWC group sign. I can't tell you how many times I've actually used our sign. It's because we've just moved into a new house recently. So all of our group members are like, Kyle, where's your house at? They say, here's the address, but just look for the sign. Look for the group sign in our front yard, and then you'll know that's the place to go. Just another one of those hospitality factors that can help you as group leaders, help those newcomers who are coming to feel comfortable in your space. But there's a couple ways that we're going to be working on groups advertising. If you are interested in being a part of that process and wanna get the word out about your group, connect with me. You can either email me at kyle.roberts at cwc.life or you can text or call me at 570-284-8327. Either one will work and make sure you either email or call and that'll be a great way to connect with you. But I'm continuing to pray for you. If you have any updates or any questions about anything, please let me know. I'm here to help you in the midst of your leading journey. So God bless.